hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to make a collapsibles accordion in neomorphism style in this accordion we will not use any javascript there will be only html and css when the accordion is open you will see a minus icon here and once it is closed you will see a plus icon by default the first accordion is open when we will open another accordion to see their content, the other accordion will get closed. We will make this beautiful neomorphism design accordion using HTML and CSS without any JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this tutorial. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. In this HTML file I have added this link tag to connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code in this body tag. So here. Within this body tag, we will create one UL with the class name Accordion. In this UL, we will add li for the list. Here we will add one input. Input type will be radio and name Accordion. Then we will add the ID. It is first. Next we will add the label for this input field in this label we will add for first because we have added the id first then we will add the label text products and after that we have to add the description of the first accordion so here we will add one div with the class name content and in this content we will add this text in p tag so this is the first list now let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with web browser so you can see this radio button here then products and the description now let me come back to the code file and in this CSS file we will add body tag and for this body we will add the background and in this background we will add one color code after that we will add the CSS for this class name accordion write this class name here and here we will add margin 60 pixel and auto so it will be horizontally centered and some space from the top then we will add the width so you can see it is here now just come back and within this accordion we have li so for this list we will add list style none then we will add the width 100 percent and we will add space so margin 20 pixel then we need a space inside the list so here we will add padding 10 pixel then we will add border radius so that corners will be round after that we will add the background this is the background color code and then we will add box shadow this is the first shadow Next we will add one more shadow. So write a comma here. Then write the shadow again. Here we will add minus 6 pixel. So the first shadow will be in the right side and bottom and the second shadow will be in the left side and in the top. After applying this, come back to the web page again. Now you can see dark shadow in the right side and at the bottom and light shadow in the left side and top. After adding this, again come back and copy this one, write it here. And within this li we have the label. So for this label we will add display, display will be flex and uh, let's add align items center and some space so padding 10 pixel then we will increase the font size it is 18 pixel and we will change the font weight 
and then we will add cursor pointer. After adding this, you can see the increased size for this text products. Now again come back and write this label here and here we will add before and in this before let's add content plus that will be a plus icon then we will add margin from the right side 10 pixel and we will increase the font size 24 pixel and font weight 600. After adding this you can see a plus icon just before the text products. Again come back and uh, here we have the input field and type radio so we have to hide this one so here we will add input type and type is equal to radio. We have to hide this one so here we will add display none. That's it. After adding this you can see that radio button is hidden. Now we have added the title and description for the first list. Next we will add the CSS for the description. So let's come back and copy this class name. Here we will add accordion dot content. Then we will add the color and padding. Then line height. 26 pixel so you can see the changed color for this description text next we will add the other list this is the first list so we will add the other list and in that one we will add the title and description so let's come back and duplicate this list and here we will change the id it is second and for second then we will change the label text it is information Let's duplicate this list again and this one will be third id and for third. Then we will change the label text. It is questions. Again duplicate this list. Here we will add the id fourth and label for fourth and change the label text it is guides so after adding four list let's come back to the web page again you can see the four list one by one and all the description are visible right now so we have to hide the description of some other list and only the first list will be visible so let's come back and in the first input here we will add checked so the first input field will be checked and other is unchecked. Now just come back to the CSS file and here in this content we will add max height 0 and overflow hidden. So whenever we are adding max height 0 it will be hidden. You can see all the descriptions are hidden right now. Now we have to display the description of the checked input field. So let's come back and copy this one input here we will add dot accordion input type radio colon checked for the checked input field we will add plus label plus dot content so for the checked input we will add the max height 400 pixel so when the input field is checked the content height will be 400 pixel and some padding here we will add transition max height 0.5 seconds and padding 0.5 seconds. So it will take 0.5 seconds to change the padding and max height. Now you can see the first description is visible and when I click on another one, the second description is visible. If I click on the third one, third description is visible. So this click function is working fine. Now we have to change the icon here right now we have the plus icon so whenever we will open the accordion it should change the icon to minus for that let's come back and copy this one paste it here so when the 
radio button is checked here we will add before that is the cdo element in this before we will add content minus that's it after adding this content minus again come back to the website you can see here we have the minus icon for the list where the description is open and plus icon for the other list where the description is hidden so this accordion is working fine we have made it using html and css without using any javascript so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video